Good morning, guys. I wanted to talk a little bit today about the dangers of using or trying to create some form of heating, especially if you're using these kind of fuels. I've been doing some experiments and recently I kind of myself discovered the dangers of uh, playing around with these kind of can heaters and this stuff. And, and it really is, you know, a matter of not knowing exactly what happens. I mean, being the proverbial idiot that I am, you know, I decided to go along with something that somebody else had said on another video where they talked about wicking the outside of these two cans. In other words, putting a wick all the way down this can and then putting it into, into this. Now, figuring that as long as we had some holes in the top, it would be fine. There wouldn't be a problem because the gases would be able to escape. But as you'll see at the end of this video, that didn't quite go the way I expected it to. So there really is a lot of dangers in working with these things. Now I was gonna create the mother of all plant pot heaters and I've now decided that the wisdom of my first video about plant pots and using a light bulb or a bulb in there can get the same effect as using a candle albeit that you may not have access to power to power a bulb, then of course you're gonna to have to convert or revert to something like this. So, uh, the, you know, the dangers of creating these things, the logic of them are very simple and very easy. And I'm gonna be doing another one of these in future videos to show a safer alternative to the nightmare that was suggested on YouTube. But it really just goes to show you that you've got to be extremely careful when you're playing around with stuff like this, uh, especially if you're indoors. Now, I actually said in that video that, you know, you have to have a wet cloth in order to damp this thing out. And it turned out that this wet cloth wasn't quite big enough, as you'll see at the end of the video. And I had to go rush and get myself a wet towel to damp out the, uh, the, the, the flames that were happening. So, uh, you know, I have had a lot of success with using this foil, and I've talked about this foil before, and it really is very successful. You know, two pieces like this, um, they have these little copper strips, and as you can see, I've drilled a hole in there, and all it is, you have a positive and a negative, and then once I've actually made the connection, you know, the, the connection between the, the copper and the, uh, the wire that I put in there, you know, I cover it all with hot glue, you know, to make sure that it's not actually going to, uh, we're not gonna to touch that because you are working with 110 in the US and, and 100 or 220 volts in, in uh, Europe. Just doing a little bit of a test on these uh, panels. Uh, this two panel here, you can see the size of this. This two panel is actually about 50 watts of energy or draws about 50 watts of energy. So it's really very efficient. The, um, the heat that I'm getting off this is quite amazing. I put a tile on here, which is basically a floor tile, a standard floor tile. And the heat that's coming through those two panels that I've got on there, which is about 50 watts, is currently 120. You can see that's 120 and that is Fahrenheit. Now, if I set that to Celsius, you'll see that the Celsius were up to about 50. So it's about 50 Celsius coming off that panel there. I've been playing around with different tiles. You know, this tile works. Any ceramic is got infrared properties. That means when it's heated up to a certain level, you know, about 100 Celsius, or should I say 100 Fahrenheit, uh, they will give off infrared. And the beauty of that is that it actually heats things in the room and not just the room. I've also been playing around with terracotta because terracotta, you know, is, is one of those things that, that 
has a lot better properties, infrared properties than most other things. And it also, as I've said in another video, explains why these terracotta pots work so well because people are actually feeling the radiant heat or the infrared, far infrared radiant heat that's coming off that pot and they kind of, it's a bit like, as I've said before, the campfire thing where you're sitting around a campfire, you're not expected to, to warm the whole campground. You have to really get that radiant heat that heats things and heats you. Testing these terracotta, it's not warmed up fully yet because I put it on later, but that's already at 41. You can see there it's at 41 panels. I mean, this is about 50 watts of energy right here. I mean, 50 watts, uh, quite frankly, is, is, a, is a traditional light bulb. So you can run, I mean, you're getting about, uh, you know, 1,800 watts, um, watt hours that is. So you can run a 50 watt bulb, you know, for quite a substantial amount of time or a 50 watt panel like this. Even if this was drawing 100 watts, it would still be very, very efficient. And when it gets up to temperatures of 120 Fahrenheit, and then you start to realize that that's gonna warm spaces relatively quickly, a very low budget. And if you get some scrap batteries and string those together, you can store quite a lot of energy. And if the lights go out, of course, you could switch over to that through a very simple inverter system. Now, the problem that happened with this particular um, heater was that once you seal off, now the, the video that I saw, I won't mention the person who did it, but they've done quite a few videos recently on these uh, can heaters, and they put a wick around the outside, and they had mentioned in their video that you can use anything, any wicking material, such as toweling or, um, you know, jeans, old jeans, t-shirts, whatever, anything that will draw that up. But they, they, they hadn't mentioned that now that turns that into an explosive device because once this blows off, which as you'll see in the video at the end, uh, when this pops off, effectively what you've got now is fuel, burning fuel. And what, that's what happened. There was an inferno of burning fuel, burning. Uh, this this stuff was burning really hot and some of it actually poured off and went onto the desk and of course then the desk started to to go on fire and you can't really see that flame you can really just see the blue um, it's very blue so it's very hard to see it so you don't even know if it's out and there was one patch on my desk uh, that actually burnt. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at that the, the deadly video where I had the explosion uh, just yesterday, right here in this room, uh, which could have could have gone very bad if this tin had have literally fallen over while I was putting this thing together. So, talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. We have the snuffer that snuffs out the methanol.